This is a simple tutorial on how to downgrade AEW Fight Forever on PC to continue using mods and how you can set up the mod stable version 1.05 and the current version simultaneously. The reason PC gamers need to do this now is because the 1.07 patch that came out on November 3rd created a serious issue which effectively blocks mods. On the AEW Games Discord, THQ Nordic's community manager Zitty has said that they are working on a short term and long term solution but there's no info on specifics or time frame, so for now the only way to continue using mods is to run the earlier version. I'll post all the file locations and links in the description. Basically, I followed these instructions recommended by Sprite on the Discord server, specifically this Make Use Up tutorial and the Manifest ID Sprite recommended. There's two folders you want to make note of. The first is the Steam Apps Common AEW Fight Forever folder, which has all of the game files. The second is your users, username, app data, local, AEW Fight Forever folder, which has the saved folder that holds all of your game saved data. You should back up everything else just in case. You'll see here that I keep separate backups of my 1.05 and 1.07 saved folders. Okay, launch Steam. Press the Windows and R keys simultaneously to bring up the run console. Type Steam colon, forward slash, forward slash, open, forward slash, console. Press enter or click OK. This will give you access to the Steam console. Paste or type in this command to download the archived 1.05 version of the game. Then press enter. The console should display that it started downloading the requested depot. This full download is almost 18 gigabytes, so it's going to take some time, and it doesn't have a progress bar. It's going to download into the Steam Apps folder on your primary hard drive, not necessarily the same drive that is storing the game. I want to mention the first time I did this, my C drive was close to full and this caused problems. So make sure to have at least two or three times more free space than you need while it's downloading. When the download eventually completes, you should see this message. Now, within your Steam Apps content folder, there will be a new app folder with the depot containing all the game's files. What I did next was move everything in this folder to another hard drive in a clearly labeled 1.05 folder. In AEW Fight Forever Content Packs, create the tilde mods folder and move in all your mod files. Then, go into the binaries Win64 folder and re-add Hanley's AEW custom launcher file. You can download that from GitHub if you need it. Now, as long as you make sure to always use the launcher and not the normal executable, it won't try to authenticate the files in this folder through Steam and shouldn't conflict with the up-to-date version. When you run the 1.05 game, it will ask you if you want to downgrade the save file. Say yes. Hopefully it'll work. It worked fine for me, it just ignored the glowing eye people I made using the 1.07 specific editions, but otherwise nothing broke. Who knows if that will stay true with future updates. Which is why I plan to run separate save files for the modded and current versions. So when I leave the game, I'm going back into my app data save folder to make a saved 1.05 copy. Now, I can rename whichever one I want to use back to just save before launching. Remember. Each time you switch, the game is going to try to either downgrade or upgrade the save file to match the running version. To play the non-modded current version, continue to launch it normally through Steam. One more suggestion. To protect yourself from future auto-updates in Steam, right-click the game, choose Properties, Updates, and switch Automatic Updates to Only Update This Game When I Launch It. Obviously, this is a step down from what we had at launch, but it is a functional band-aid. Let's hope the developers come up with a solution soon that will work with current and future versions. In the meantime, I hope you find this helpful.